but I have them both installed. So people, if you're out there and you have Voxer or Haytel and you want to connect with me, doordoorgeek at gmail.com. Yeah. Very Save cool. Easy. Voxer. All right. I got to check it. Should I download it? Are you going to Vox? Are you going to Vox me on it or whatever you, whatever you call I'll it? I'll use whatever platform. I mean, that sounds dirty. Um, I'm going to use whatever <laughs> platform, whoever I'm talking <laughs> with. Has. All right. I'll download it. I'll test it out. Are there, uh, is there limits on the length of your messages? Because isn't there lengths on Haytel? Like so many hey, seconds? Tell, yeah. Haytel, I want to say is 90 seconds. Uh, Voxer, I don't think I ever hit the limit. And I know I have the habit once in a while going a little bit long. Uh, like I'm going to start a message right now going to LS Owens and I'll mute my mic if you want. And I'll just keep talking and let's see how long it goes. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to love that message. Oh, well, right. he will. He, he understands. He understands. Okay. He's like, all right. Uh, Sean, um, no, I'm sorry. Eric, it's back to you. Uh, whatever else you got in the tank. Okay. Uh, my last one is called Space Cat. This is for you, <laughs> Steve. You, you like cats and you like, I think you like, you like space? No. Nah. No. Okay. So I, yeah. I like, I like this halfway. So this is, um, this is called Space Cat. <laughs> and this was, this isn't, this isn't quite any poo thing, man. This is, Straight up, uh, cats in space. Well, cats in a room <laughs> sitting on top of a spaceship. What? So what is we'll... this? Oh, this is fun. Actually, I'm gonna have to put my. Here we go. What is in your mouth now? That was my can. <laughs> I'm try trying to figure out how to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can see it. Uh, it looks good. Anyway. There's a cat okay. in a spaceship. Yeah, but I have to tilt my. Yeah, you just hit the button. You just press anywhere on your screen to give it gas, <laughs> but then you have to tilt your tablet to move him. Oh, look at that! And it looks great. Yeah. And then you gotta eat some mice that are floating, grab them. Oh, that's freaking cool! And he's just in a room. Yeah, yeah I like this, man. It's fun, and it, and it, 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 uh, it, it's advertised to be 3D without the glasses. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, I guess, sort of 3D, but it's it's actually a fun game. Um, Space cat. <laughs> It's, it's well done, I would say. It's yeah. not um, not too shabby. Yeah, it looks pretty damn good. It warns you about that... bumping in, into things and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of cool. They've done a good job with it. Yeah, it looks great. It does look great. I like the graphics and the smooth animation. Ah, oh, it's hilarious. That's so fun. I have to install this for my son. He'll he'll think this is giddy. Me. I mean, he will just giggle the entire time. Yeah, this looks like a son type game. Very cool, man. <laughs> I'm laughing at the video on the we're showing now. Yeah, and I'll say the boxer. In hindsight, there's no way Haytel goes to 90 seconds because that's much longer time frame than I thought. Um, I went over a minute, and it still mm. was rolling strong. Really? Haytel at the most has to be one minute. I'm gonna say. Gotcha. I know. I just couldn't put Alice. I'm really sorry. I I, I had to pick somebody. Alice, you were top of the list. Um. To put anyone through that, I'm sorry, but you know, I had to he, test it. Yeah, he, he, you told me he would understand. So I'm sure he I know, would. But... All right, Sean, what else you got in the tank there? If anything. All right. Um, actually, I don't, I don't have any more apps, but I got a question. Uh, if you guys can, I was, I was talking with Cody Cooper before the show, and uh, a lot of times I'll chat with him on with the Google Plus Messenger. But the problem with that is, unless I have either the messenger or Google plus open, I don't, I don't get the notification. I don't know if that's just me or, um, cause I believe and correct me if I'm wrong, but I th isn't messenger supposed to be more of like a, uh, chatting type of application so that if you're not there, then it, you don't hear the, the, uh, conversation. I don't know. I, uh, I've never really used messenger much on G I'm trying to say no, how could be related to. I don't think I have ever used it. Uh, think of it as IRC. Um, um, oh, um, you mean like the Google Talk in the left left hand side? No, no. When you launch Google Plus, there's a thing called Messages, and then in your app list, you should have Messenger as a separate icon. Hmm, okay. Dude, Space Cat wants to know my phone ID? No. Mobile network? No. Wi-Fi? No. Sorry. That's on your on your uh, <laughs> firewall app? 
yeah, that LB thing called. Um, I think of the messenger as kind of almost like a bulletin board esque system, like IRC, where it's always open and running in the background. You have to option into conversations and then option to quit a conversation. I sparingly get notified. Sometimes the message will sit there for two to three hours before I get notified that I have a pending message. Um, but to be honest, I open the app so frequently. It's typically I open the app and then a half a second later it says, you have new messages. <laughs> right. And it'll and, it, and if you haven't opened it a while, it'll say from, you know, two hours ago. And so right. the thing... So leading from that, my question actually was, so I said to Cody, you know, I'd use the uh, Google Talk application because that is more like SMS where if oh, I yeah. send you, if I, if I, if I ting, ping you, ding you on Google Talk, you get a notification instantly. And uh, he was like, I don't, I don't even know, you know, what that app is. Where do, what do I look for in the, in the app store? So I went there and put Google Talk. There is no application. That, so didn't that, wasn't that installed alongside of Google Plus? Uh, not Google Plus, because it was out before Google Plus. Um, All right. I believe, hmm. I want to keep saying it comes along with Google Voice. Okay. I don't yeah, know. I didn't think of that. It was before the show, so I was like, oh, I don't know, man. I got to ask Dor about this. And then the other thing I was thinking, well, maybe it came with... Uh, uh, my UI ROM or something built in because I never really used it that much, but then I tried it and uh, I like. Well, the I'm fact thinking. That... I, I'm thinking now one of two things: pre-installed with the phone, period, or it comes alongside Google Voice because on every ROM I have, I I the first thing I do when I re-ROM is I open up Google Talk, so it like reactivates that I'm online. Um. And I think I am able to activate it before I get Google Voice, but it's just called Talk on the phone, not Google Talk. Right. Oh yeah. Huh. Well, you know what? I could always just back it up with root on installer and send them the APK anyways. Yep. Well, that was my question. That was my non-app. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. No problemo. Thank you, Door. Or thank you. Yeah, thank you, Door, for answering Sean's question. Uh, Dora, anything else you got? Oh, I have one more app and then one bit of confusing news. Um, the app is called Resco Radio Free. Um, I tried to, uh, I forgot to stream tonight. Most of the time now, whenever I am on a show, I also stream the audio through the new radio.net, which is a Endeavor. Tracy Holt is doing that. He graciously is letting me be a part of, um, uh, for instance, Jeff Owens, when he's at home, he has very poor internet service using this app, Resco radio free. You can connect to, um, Icecast, shoutcast or other types of streaming audio. The new radio.net has a applicable Icecast feed. So he can go into the app, click connect, put in that URL for that stream, and then essentially listen to the show live in what I consider to be very acceptable audio level for the spoken word, which is 64 kilobits. For music, it ain't great. It's doable, but it ain't great. Um, so if you find yourself in a low bandwidth situation and you need to listen to stuff streaming, you know, Pandora might be a little bit too intensive stitcher might want a little bit too much bandwidth uh and if you're a fan of ice cast or shout cast at all resco radio free to me was a good solution yeah it looks fine looks, yeah. looks like it would definitely do the job i like it yeah i had a lot of fun with it nice one door hey before you did talk tell us this confusing news you have you just reminded me this yesterday or the whatever this weekend i can't remember a couple days ago, I signed up for Sirius XM radio internet streaming because I love Sirius XM in my car. I love it, man. I listen to Electric Area and BPM. Those are my two favorite stations. And I want to be able to have it in on the computer, like just when I'm sitting at a computer. I want to hear it. I don't want to have to be in my car. So I signed up for XM Sirius internet radio. I, I started playing a song and I'm like, this sounds crappy. 
Turns mm. out they stream at 32 KBS for no. for music. Uh, Dude. Wow. I'm, I swear. I'm like, I call up and I go, Are you, what do you stream at? I'm like, do you stream at 32 or 64? I'm like, because it sounds really bad. And he goes, yes, sir, you need a 32-bit or a 64-bit computer to run XM. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, just put your supervisor on. Does anybody know what, the, what you stream at there? Anyway, I got I got all upset. And um, I, I canceled my subscription because it was their, the supervisor confirmed, confirmed that they stream at 32. I'm like, so it's a separate, a separate subscription and payment for... Yeah, it's, the... a, it's an extra three bucks a month to get internet uh, radio. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you. Yeah. I, They're crazy. I could not believe it. It's such a disappointment. Yeah. I mean, Hank Williams Sr. back in the 40s recorded it higher than 32 <laughs> kilobits kind of thing. Come on. I agree. Right. <laughs> what 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 else? What's this confusing news you have? Okay, this just came out, I believe, today. Okay. I'm going to do my best to explain it as best I understand it. Okay. We've heard of online before. Eric brought mm-hmm. the fantastic app. That mm-hmm. lets you basically stream games down to devices that might not be able to per se run that game. Okay. What they're offering now, I'm 99% for free, for free, for free, mind you. The ability to have this on live client on your Android, they really want it to be tablets. On your Android tablet, using their custom technology, stream your own customized Windows 7 virtualized desktop to your tablet. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. This is basically Windows 7 on your tablet as long as you have a network connection. Okay. And it's you you're all using it. their server. So anything you do on the OS, it's saved on their server? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, now, you all know how I feel about Windows. Okay. I'm pushing that to the side. This is really interesting and really cool. They're using custom transport protocols that they engineered to give you what I saw in the video, a very impressive stream of an OS that looks like it's on your tablet. Okay. What I cannot comprehend is, are they trying to go broke? Okay. Because this makes no sense to me. Okay. Every time you virtualize a Windows desktop, you have to pay a specific license for virtualization, okay? There's not like your standard desktop OEM keys. This is a totally different fee. This is an expensive key, okay? They're sucking up that cost. On the standard plan, you're also getting Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. That means Office Pro, okay? That's another fee that they're sucking up. How much so does it either, cost? Dude, I'm telling you right now, Windows 7 alone is more than $200 for that vir- vir- virtualization fee, and Office has to be at least another $200, at least. So either they're trying to go bankrupt really quick, or they're geniuses, and they're going to be the most unbelievably huge company for enterprise and business tablets for at least functionality you know how I mean? much does it cost the customer free <laughs> is it free for a half an hour like like no. the games are no this says to me when i read it free free so yes it, it, it'll be released on this thursday and it's free and now if you get the plus package, which is four ninety nine a month, which you can cancel any time, no year contract, you also get full featured a, a Adobe Flash cloud file access, i.e. Dropbox, webmail access like Gmail, and up to a hundred and up to up to over one hundred megabits, I guess speed. And you also get priority access to cloud desktop, i.e. prioritized packets faster. faster. I, I, I don't know how they're doing this, people, but this could be, this is going to be at least somewhat revolutionary for tablet functionality. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking yeah. forward to trying it, actually. 
Right. Well, that's that's better than buying a netbook, you know. 